Welcome to this lecture on an overview on the abdominal wall. This slide lists the objectives that you should be able to answer as a learner at the conclusion of this presentation. First, describe the surface anatomy of the anterolateral abdominal wall. Describe the planes and regions of the four quadrant and nine region pattern. List the regions where pain is referred by derivatives of the foregut, midgut, and hindgut. List the skeletal and muscular elements of the abdominal wall. List the layers of the abdominal wall from superficial to deep. List three important anatomic landmarks with respect to the dermatomes. And lastly, list the male and female major structures transmitted through the inguinal canal. We will then uh, highlight the key uh, messages from this presentation in the summary and then provide for attribution of the images that were used throughout this presentation. Uh, here is our body map to orient you to the areas that we're going to be covering today in this lecture. We will be looking at this area of the anterior abdominal wall. We will explore an orientation to the lateral aspect of the wall, and then we'll also take a look at the posterior portion of the abdominal wall. This slide brings us uh, to surface anatomy, or the surface relief of the anterior abdominal wall. Uh, this is best demonstrated in a young, well-developed male with less than 10% body fat. Uh, the landmarks that we're interested in uh, are in the area of the rectus abdominis. The rectus abdominis underlies the skin and rectus sheath in this area, as well as on the left side of the body. In the midline, we have the belly button or the umbilicus. And then above and below, but best seen above, you see this depression or this furrow and this corresponds to the linea alba. Additionally, we have an area here that represents a furrow or a depression. And as you proceed inferiorly toward the pubic bone, you'll see that it occurs inwards. Similarly, we have the same thing occurring on the opposite rectus abdominis on its lateral aspect. And again, it will curve uh, inwards as you proceed inferiorly. This demarcates or represents a line referred to as the linea semilunaris. Uh, lastly, we see some furrows that are oriented more transversely here within the skin overlying the rectus abdominis. Uh, these correspond to tendinous intersections. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.